What's up, everyone? Welcome to Intoxicated Opinions. Today, since my partner don't get none, he has been asking me, should prostitution be legal? So we're going to discuss that. Go ahead, man. Giggling about. We're going to discuss that today. Our thoughts on prostitution. Should it be legal? It is legal in Nevada, for sure. Bro, it's not legal. What? Prostitution is not legal. I thought in Reno, Nevada, they had like a... Uh, penthouse, you go in there. I'm pretty sure prostitution Bunny is not legal. Anywhere in America? I know for sure in Europe it's legal. It is legal. You talk about Europe, I'm talking about America. I thought Nevada had a law that stated. Yeah, it is a crime throughout the United States except in a few rural countries in the United States, in the state of Nevada. I knew it. Rural co- counties. You go to the Bunny Ranch, prostitution is legal. Why don't every city Bro, have that? Listen, prostitution is actually legal. It's OnlyFans, it's porn. But you're not actually physically Strip making that club. connection. Yes, you are. With your lotion, not with that person. No, OnlyFans. So if I'm an OnlyFans content creator, right? Okay. And I go out and I get another partner to make content with them, I'm going to make money with them. Make money on them. But they're not paying you just to fuck. How do we know that? We don't. I'm pretty sure they That's pay. your partner, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. No, I'm pretty sure they pay for clientele. What? So, like, a person will be like, how much to... Have sex. Or, you know, feature. Uh-huh. And that's just another form of prostitution. Like porno? Yeah. What? What's the difference? The difference is one is shared by many for the enjoyment of many. The other is just you and that person. <laughs> that makes no sense at all, bro. No. That makes no sense at all. I'm, that was I'm, trying, to, I'm trying, trying to understand why, connect why porn is not prostitution. Is it because both parties are being paid? <laughs> but wouldn't that mean the production company is the pimp? It's possible. I mean, because both parties are getting paid. Yeah, but the production company is getting paid the most. Or OnlyFans. Is OnlyFans the uh, pimp? So it's time to update the laws. I, th- I just feel like I don't support prostitution. I don't support it. Sounds like you do. I don't support it. What I'm saying is might as well make it legal. People are going to do it anyway. Yeah. And, and it's happening right now. It's happening course. right now. We just call it different things. Yeah. Did you have an OnlyFans subscription to someone? Bad Baby, Bad Barbie, something like that? <laughs> oh, I, I thought we had other people in here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's funny. I, I would never, ever, 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 ever. I support local content creators. Never, ever, ever, ever <laughs> pay for porn. Ever, 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 bro. Sometimes you have to subscribe. The hub is free to get the premium. The hub content. is free. What's premium about it? You get the whole storyline. The plumber comes in to fix the pipes under the sink. You know, <laughs> back in the day, <laughs> listen. Back in the day, we had dollar, right? We had the do 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 do. Remember. We call it one hundred number. No, the dial up. So you had to get on oh, internet, internet and yeah. they'd be like, doo, doo, doo. Yeah. back then, fifteen seconds was enough. <laughs> so, back then, you might have to just find some naked pictures and imagine. So you off. mean to tell me it's free? Mm-hmm. Porn is free. Pornhub, XN, XX. Uh, this is another one. Go ahead. This list, is a couple list of the ones one. you visit, bro. Bro, I just know them because I have visited and I have. Been a a X hamster red tube. Oh, so yeah, you going deep, I'm ain't you? Trying to figure you're out what you know. Deep. and don't know. Hey, I, I, I'm, I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm not promoting it. I'm not saying that it's good, especially for young men or or young women out here, because it leaves a false perception of what <clears throat> sex is like or what they should expect from their partner. What I'm saying is, why would I pay for something that's free? Side note. There has been scientific studies on the implications of constant porn watching to your brain. Mm. Probably not the best. What it do? It doesn't do anything good 
sex does do stuff good. Actual real life. Actual intercourse with yeah. another human being. Mm. Or I mean, whatever. I I I don't. I, I just don't really care. Like, as far as prostitution, mm. might as well make it legal. Are you going to be a client? Why would I be a client? I'm just asking. There's things that I do not pay for. That is one of them. I'm not paying. No, not a trick. <clears throat> Never been a giant. We had a discussion last Valentine's Day. We said it's Valentine's Day. Tricking. Yeah, basically. No. You take a girl to dinner or to the movies, or you buy her a gift, and in return, you expect sex. That's prostitution. That is exactly That's what you said. Yeah, I remember. That's yeah. what you said. Yeah. What's the difference? There's none really, except you're not paying her cash, or maybe, hey, you have what if she decides I don't want to have sex? <laughs> then you get nothing. Then the dudes. So you're just upset. tricking. Yeah, then you're oh, just tricking. Like I said, you just a trick. Then the dude's mad he did A, B, and C, and you ain't giving nothing. So Why is he mad? In the guy's eyes, this is a prostitution deal. I'm, it's Valentine's Day. You are, as a woman, expected to give it up, and I'm going to give you. I would never tell a man to do something or buy a woman anything that he's not courting, that he's not actively, actively engaged with. Not unless it's being reciprocated on both ends. And that's why you should make prostitution legal. That way you can just... Negotiate the deal up front. Hey, I'm gonna take you to dinner. There'd be a lot more lonely people movies. out here. There'd be a lot of lonely people out here. And when we get done, we go into your place and it's going down. I just you know, it's just a lot of things. Safety. Women's safety. Or what do you for prostitution? Yeah. To legalize it? Yeah. So you have the <laughs> the word you you worry about, you know, being taken advantage of as a woman, you worry about Inviting the wrong person in or going to the wrong place with the wrong person. Uh, there's just so many if, different faucets. If, facets. Listen, if Oregon can legalize safe houses for heroin users and give them different drugs. Oh, that's crazy. That is mind boggling. Missouri can have yeah. safe houses for yeah, prostitution. Say, Handing out drugs. Yeah. Serums. Uh, to get syringes. off drugs. Yeah. Yeah. So they don't kill themselves or they don't starve or they don't do something illegal to get the drugs that they're already going to get. That regardless. is crazy. That is wild. That is stupid. That is enabling behavior. Yeah, it is. By the state of Oregon. That's that northwest God, side of the country. Stupid. though. But I'm just saying they could have, have safe houses. It could be like a nine to five. Hey, I'm clocking in here. I'm at the bunny ranch. Come see me. And you have a client list like a hairstylist. <laughs> 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 Who's next? Timmy, you next. Johnny, come on. I'm for families. So that's something that I would be against. Okay. I, I'd be against <laughs> that. Just because financial problems is the number one killer of or leader of divorces. So I know, especially in the family, you got your husband going to these places, spending money. Mm-hmm. It's not going to do any you good. Just, well, if you're married or if you're committed with someone, you should just. Sex with them. Sometimes, you know, at the marriage, it tends to fall off. Why? Uh, a sense of duty is not really there anymore, I, I would say, if you ask me. I think that some people get complacent, and now that they got what they want, they don't feel the need to fulfill any other duties. Uh-huh. And so that's something that falls off. And I feel like if that's short, that lacks, then you can't blame the man. What? No. It's a woman's duty to. Fuck the man is what you're saying. It's it's a duty to please each other. Mm. I, I think it goes both ways. If your wife is wanting and you're not, I think it goes. You're not up way. for it, then she's okay to go cheat on you. Hey, go for it. That's how I feel. That's my opinion. But when the government realizes how much they can tax prostitution safe houses that's all it's about tax the money yeah if the government can make they'll say yes if the government can make money they'll legalize it look in the direction that laws are going missouri just passed the the marijuana bill so now you can smoke weed dealers are out of jobs there's no (laughs) reason to have there's no reason to buy pounds and break it down and sell bags and doms and 
Coders, you QPs know what I'm and yeah, no yeah. reason. You can go to a dispensary. You can get it how you want. You can get in candy form, ain't chocolate no, it's form. Manufactured, no, it's legal. You know, you ain't getting no no bull stuff. You know, you it's not laced with nothing. Yeah, you know what you're getting. You're getting what you're getting. So weed deals are out of jobs. What happens when they do like uh, Oregon and start legalizing harder shit? Drug deals are gonna be out of jobs. Crack, you talking about crack they cocaine? Made? Wow, that's, I mean, that's, that's mind-boggling. I thought Oregon legalized heroin, though. Heroin or meth. I'm pretty sure it's heroin. That's crazy. Um, but That's crazy. Once all the drugs are legal, there's a lot of people going to lose jobs. <laughs> he people, said lose jobs. Like they, <laughs> like they law by the citizens and paying taxes. No. <laughs> Their primary source of income is not going to be there. There you go. How about that? They're not losing jobs. 20 years ago. They need to get a job. 20 years ago, if you was a weed dealer, you was... You probably making a lot of money. I don't even think if you're a drug dealer, you even making money anymore. What? Like you'd have to be like a, a cracker cocaine dealer. Weed dealers ain't making money for real. It's over for weed dealers. In Missouri, in Colorado, man, in California. You're not making money off of meth. You have to be a strictly crackhead, crack dealer, coke dealer. And then you need to target the rich people. Yeah, because they, they like uh, doctors. This rock went up a thousand this month. <laughs> oh no worries here you go yeah. all I'm saying is when the government realizes the money they can make on legalizing prostitution I think they'll make it happen it would have to be Democrats but in office they would have to monitor it'll the be, incoming and outgoing traffic and the money that's being made it'll be Democrats in office just like a restaurant report your earnings today Republicans not having hey that. Laura how many guys do you have sex with? Ten? How much they pay you? Two hundred each? It'll be a rotating door. I wonder if they get tipped for it probably. Do they tip you too? No, that was just for basic. You know, they're gonna lie like a waitress. It's gonna be like a waitress job. The prostitution house is gonna pay a minimum wage. They're gonna charge per service. And they're gonna no, get it'll, tips. It'll, it'll be like a strip club to where you pay your front door service. Mm -hmm. You pay your entry fee. It's like a night service or whatever you pay it's like forty five dollars you pay that and then everything else that you, you know get that is yours. really well huh i go to a strip club i frequent well i used to a lot back in the day okay yeah yeah so you pay your upfront service yeah, to make them dance <laughs> you pay to have no sex. at the night at the end of the night the girl pays her her cover uh -huh. so however much that is usually it's like forty five fifty so it's like a hairstyle is renting a spot a booth. Yeah. But they pay nightly. Okay. How about this? You walk in to this house that's... You excited, that huh? That is legalized <laughs> prostitution and you get a menu. Hand job, 25, blow job, 100, sex, 200, anal, 500, whatever. You know what is a menu. How would you ethically feel about just going there and seeing a menu and figuring out... Like, this is a human being. I'm just kind of ordering... Sexual favors off of, and I'm going to pay her money to do those. There's no feeling involved. There's no connection. This isn't real. This is just strictly for physical gratification. Wouldn't you have any kind of moral conflict doing that? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. You need to talk to the people because I'm not about to be paying for it. So you need to ask them, are they morally conflicted? Me personally, I feel like I couldn't. That's not something I'd do okay. or want to do. Okay. Me too. I was just trying to. Trying to bait you into the... I don't know who you try to bait. <laughs> it's not working here. Some things you just don't... I, I couldn't do it. I'm hey, sorry. Tell us your thoughts on prostitution. Should it be legal? What about walking into a building and you have a menu? You have a different girls to choose from. And you say, I want ABC. Uh, ethically, morally, religiously. Is there any kind of conflicts other than the actual laws in place currently that would stop you from doing that? And do you think those laws should be changed? I'm not going to no place to have sex with no one. They can probably clean. You're probably the dirty one. You got to wrap it up. Can you imagine? What if you ordered... The dude wants to go down on the girl. And it's like 5 in the afternoon. She done already had like 10 dudes. You about to put your face down there? Oh, so you said numbers matter now. <laughs> You gonna put your face because at in first there? you said numbers didn't matter. <laughs> that how many times or how many men a woman slept with it didn't matter. Now you gotta have a uh, so now it matters a time lapse 
from the first. You can't. Oh, so you you telling the the coochie need a break before you can put your face in it? I don't know. <laughs> no, nah, go ahead. Speak on know, it. Man. Speak on it, Mister. She can. It could be fifty to hundred men. Listen, no, I'm no. talking about from the past, but in the same day, what difference does it matter? That woman That's still the has the body cells of that it's person on her it's thighs, the, her stomach. It's the past. The smell of another man. It's the past. Uh, she go in there and take a shower. Hey, let us know your thoughts on this. Douche real quick. Subscribe to the <laughs> channel. Like this video. We appreciate your love, your support. We out. Peace.